Hey, how you guys doing today? Welcome back to the channel. Today we got we got something really special. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can go from zero coins to a million coins in under a day. And I'm gonna go step by step by step. And if you guys are gonna be on the screen right now, if you guys have a certain amount of coins, like I say you have in the hundred thousands, or you have like five hundred thousand, there's gonna be different steps and different methods for you to do. So it's gonna be on the screen right now, times of where your method will start. We're gonna start with if you have zero coins, let's say you just started the game. I know it's the most cliche thing, but you wanna go hop into the solo challenges and you'll play specific ones that will give you um, a very good baseline of coins to start out with. It's gonna be these ultimate legend ones. So what you're gonna to wanna to do with these is you're gonna to wanna to play, you don't play all of them, but you wanna play the two power up ones and you wanna play the, which is out there, are gonna unlock the ultimate legend showdown. Each one of these are going to give you 15k because um, they're going to give you an ultimate legend piece almost all of them sell 15 and then each of these power ups will sell, sell for around a 1000 to 2000 depending on the one I think Calvin's like 2k and then Warren's up like 1k so if you do all of these I'm just going to say these are all 1k just to make math easy you get 1, 2, 17, uh, 18, 19, 30, what, 34, 35, 36 uh, 51, 52, 53, uh, what was that, 60, 68, and then you have these as well, so give you like 70, uh, these two actually go for more of a lot, 70, 85, let's say, we get 85, uh, 90, 92, 93, 94, so give you about 110k, you do all the tax, gonna give you around 100k good starting baseline so you really just want to play these solo challenges as you can see right here it's gonna be like this they're gonna start like this you don't need to play the legends kickoff I would recommend eventually playing them because you get an ultimate legend when you beat uh, enough of them you get little tokens and they go to a set but you want you're gonna play the first power up the second power up and then you're gonna do the ultimate legend showdown which is gonna give you a um, skill piece is what it's called and it's pretty much just anywhere from an 86 to an 89 ultimate legend piece and the thing is you don't have to but you can play it on the hardest difficulty if you're trying to optimize your coins i would recommend just doing easy uh and when you play these to get them done with quickly uh you're literally just going to want to run the ball put two clock on it's going to be an arcade rookie you're going to be able to break every single tackle run the clock out in the first half second half get a stop run it out in the very last second chuck up a deep ball to one of your receivers catch it in the end zone game over uh it's going to take the it's going to be like the quickest way to get them done uh, each game takes probably around six, seven minutes. Uh, so this is probably going to take you around an hour, hour and a half to get um, them done. Maybe even two hours, depending on how fast and how efficiently you do them. But for you having zero and two hours to have around 100k coins, definitely worth it. So that's if you just starting off, you don't have any coins right now. If you've already done this, right? and you still don't have any coins, I would honestly recommend selling one of your players so you can get around 50 to 100K uh, because you're gonna need coins to be able to make coins. That's just how the game works. So if you have, let's say like um, uh, a 90 overall team with zero coins, sell some players. Even if you have like an 85 overall team, sell some players so that you can get coins so that you can make more coins. All right, so once you, after you play those solo challenges, excuse me for rubbing my nose right there, you're gonna do what is called the get a player pack method. Um, so pretty much all you wanna do is you wanna go into the store, you're gonna open up these 500 coin packs. Uh, you see the info right here, you're gonna get silvers, golds, and you're actually gonna get some elites you can pull. Uh, the highest I've ever pulled is an 89, but those are extremely rare. Um, but the main thing is you're gonna get elites that are pretty much gonna cover the cost of what you're gonna try to do, and you're gonna get try to get power-ups. There's a lot of power-ups that go for a, a lot of coins you got like deshaun watson you got lamar you got minka you got I'm trying to think there's a lot of them. those are the four those are like three like ones that go for a lot they're like 68 overalls uh then obviously you got like your george kittles that go for like 10 you got your antonio gate you got your um patrick mahomes all the stuff that go for a decent amount so power ups are where you can make a lot and the elites are kind of also going to be good as well so what you're going to do is let's say you have i'd open about 50 i would say if you have 50 to 100k i would just do 50k at a time you're just going to open these up like this uh you're going to open up all 50 of them uh i would do this but i just my binder is pretty much almost all full 
uh, it's really all you're gonna do is you're gonna open up these until you have no coins or if you have like 100 do 50 so you're down to 50,000 coins and then what you're gonna want to do is after you open up all your packs right so you're gonna open up about like it's probably gonna be around a hundred packs I'm just gonna keep opening up a couple while I explain. You're gonna to want to go to the exchange sets and you're gonna to want to exchange up until you have an elite, uh, or you're gonna do the Mutt Heroes, which can be five high golds into um, five high golds into um, the Mutt Hero one, which is gonna give you an 80 to 81 overall Mutt Hero. Those are gonna sell for, you probably can sell them for 4.5 to 5K. Uh, some of them go for a little bit more if they go into the Theme Diamond 2 set. But yeah, so that's what you're gonna do. Uh, I'm going to show you guys all the sets and I'm also going to tell you guys which ones you don't want to put in this set and which ones you actually want to go ahead and sell for like the golds and stuff. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to go to the exchange sets. I just currently did a lot because I I did a, uh, I opened up like 800k worth of get a player packs for a video. I was going to do, uh, but it didn't pan out. So sadly, um, but yeah, so that's what you're going to do. You're going to come over here. You're going to the exchange set. You're going to exchange. I would recommend when you open these packs, open up and start spamming B. It's gonna be the quickest way. Then you're gonna go to the 66, 69. You're gonna exchange it like this. This is honestly where you're gonna be able to make, um, you're gonna be able to make a lot of coins is if you can pull a good power up. Uh, and I'll show you guys that they are definitely, they come out of packs, not super uh, common, but they do come out of packs. Uh, 66, 66, 69 overall silver. You see where I silver. You're gonna have about 30 or 20 ish, 30 ish of these packs. You're gonna go ahead and open all those up, right? And then after you go ahead and put all your low silvers into high silvers, you're gonna come in here, you're gonna put all your high sil high silvers into low golds. As you can see, I got 609 of them. I'm gonna to have to cl clear my binder, obviously. Um, but yeah, you're gonna do this, and you're gonna go ahead and do get rid of all your high silvers into the low golds. So silvers, all the silvers you're gonna put in, none of the silvers go for, um, none of the silvers go for more than like what they're worth. None of them have like extra value as some of the golds will. So seriously, it's all you're gonna do. You just wanna put all your silvers in. Uh, I like to save the packs. Uh, I think it's the quickest. If you open up, they'll get a players. If you, if you guys didn't know, when a pack's opening, if you hit B or whatever the equivalent is on PlayStation, I don't know the PlayStation, the I think it's circle, if you hit circle, like I'm doing right now, you see how, oh, it didn't really work right there, but you hit B while the pack's opening, it'll just quickly get rid of it. Um, so you're gonna wanna do that. And then, so when you go to the high golds, right, there are a couple of uh, low golds you're not gonna wanna put in. The only th the ones you're not gonna put in are any fullbacks. Fullbacks go for more, so you don't wanna put fullbacks in. Uh, I'm pretty sure everything else is good to go. Everything else will go on to go into the set. Um, so yeah, anything but fullbacks. So I don't see you have any, but if you have any uh, low fullbacks, make sure you go ahead and hold on to them. They're gonna go for more than the average, shoot, I just knocked my phone a hole. <laughs> They're gonna go for more than the average um, low gold, and therefore it's not gonna be profitable to put them into the set. So the reason you're gonna wanna do these sets is simply, one, you're gonna be trying to get power-ups, and two, it's just gonna make it to where you can get to where you can get to the elites and sell the elites quicker than if you're gonna sell each and every single one of these. Um, so that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna exchange all those until you get uh, a bunch of 75, 79s, and then you wanna come over here to the archive set, and then in the archive set, you wanna go over to the Mutt Heroes, and then you wanna to go to the exchange, and you wanna to go to the 80 to 81 Mutt Heroes sidekick. So these, uh, instead of doing the 80 to 82 Elite Exchange, because they're pretty much all 80s to 82s go for the same. Uh, there are a couple 82s that go for a little bit more, but it's not worth losing a, uh, putting in an extra gold player, because over time, it's gonna end up costing you a lot. So for 70, um, to the high golds, there are definitely gonna be a couple you don't wanna put in. I personally don't put in, uh, put any of the ones in. You see like this Kenny Galloway, how he has a power up. The Xavier Howard, he has low power up. I usually don't put any of those in. Uh, you also don't wanna put in the Harvest and you don't wanna put in the um, the, Mutt he the Mutt Superstars. These go for like 2.5, 2K, uh, 2, <laughs> 2.5 to 2K. So they go for the more. And like the Derrick Henry, the Baker Mayfield, I usually don't put those in. Even like the Benjamin McKinney, even if I don't think they're gonna go for a lot, they're gonna go for a little bit more than the average gold. 
Um, and you also don't want to put in fullbacks. So fullbacks, any card that has a power up, uh, elite har or not elite harvest, but any of the harvest cards and the amount of superstars. You can put the zero chills in. You can put um, the team of the weeks. They just don't really seem to have much more value. Uh, kickers, you could keep kickers and sell kickers separately because they usually have a little bit more value. Uh, I personally don't think it's worth it, but it, if you want to go ahead and do that, like this OJ Howard. Uh, any of those the scary elite the most feared you can put those in but these right here the mutt superstars and the Harvest players go for around 2.5 K each So those are definitely not the ones that you are going to want to uh, ship off. I'm looking for a fullback, but I I, I probably passed one um, But yeah, so that is the get a player and you're gonna want to do this until you have about 350 400 ish K so you're gonna do this to you about 350 ish 400k that's probably gonna take around three four hours possibly depending on how lucky you are um it could take you a little bit longer uh but it's definitely the most safe and fastest way when you have that amount of coins and so once you get around 400 ish k right you're gonna go out here into the auctions uh and this is a method that i have a video up the screen is gonna be up there if you guys want a more uh in-depth video on why it works um but you're going to come here you want to go to quality you want to go to the 96 to 97 okay and you right here so once this is where you're going to need coins to make coins because you're not going to, be able to do this method unless you have uh, a lot of coins this is actually one of the probably most perfect times to do this you want to come here you're going to go to newest all offense all defense you're going to be looking for 97s for about 320 ish k um so this is probably going to take you about 10 to 15 minutes to get the new Brian Dawkins stuff. Uh, why this is going to be really good today is they came up with new Ultimate Legends Day, more people opening up packs, uh, and they also have a offensive lineman that is in packs, um, which is going to be really good for Ultimate Legends because most people don't really care about offensive linemen. They will usually go for less, so you're usually going to be able to get him for 320. Probably He's probably going to be him and then the most sphere. So right here, 330, you could buy this. And what I'm seeing right now is that actually the new, if you're ever like this, the newest, and you're not seeing uh, 59 then that means that the filter is there's too many of them which is kind of a bad thing but also a good thing uh, so we, what you want to do right here is if this is the case it's gonna depend on the day you want to go to quarterback which is gonna have Russell Wilson um, which is gonna be three like 320 right here perfect you would want to go ahead and buy that the reason I'm not going to is um, I have so much stuff in my binder right now I gotta get rid of that stuff but yeah 320 for Russell Wilson uh, you could even snipe less if you want 300 um, but you're gonna want to try to get him. You can go. You want to go through quarterback. You want to go through left tackle, which is gonna have uh, Walter Jones. You want to go through right tackle, which is going to have uh, the new legend, ultimate legend, uh, Dan Deerdorf. You want to go through. So you want to go quarterback, left tackle, right tackle, uh, right end, which is gonna have uh, Aaron Donald. And then you want to go through defensive tackle, which is going to have uh, Warren at Sapp. So these are like the cheap 87s. Um, the other ones you're not really going to be able to get for 320. And if you do, it'd be more beneficial to just sell them. But what you're really going to do is if you get one for 320,000 uh, coins, that means you're going to be able to quick sell them for about 48. Uh, I think it's 4850 training. Uh, something along those lines around that which is going to be about six six is six point five six point seven coins uh, per training which means you're after you go and buy that you're gonna quick sell it and you're gonna a lot of training then you're gonna go back to the store and then you're gonna want to go to the training currency and you're gonna want to buy these theme diamond two set pieces um, these are gonna be about 10k to, to 10.5 to 11k depending on how much you bought your player for uh per pack and why these packs are so good is you almost break even every single time and then you also will make a lot of coins because every now you're gonna get 90 91s 89s uh there's there's more in-depth video that's gonna be on the screen or at the end one of the two or in the description i don't know <laughs> it'll be somewhere you can just look for it um on my channel about this ex this set exclusively um but pretty much what it is is programmed for you to lose training but how it's programmed because of how expensive the 85 to 86 are compared to how cheap the 97s are you pretty much make coins every single time i've done this for, for two days and made over two million coins doing it it's super simple super easy so yeah that's pretty much how you go from zero 
to like a million, million coins in a day. You really could do this. You, you spend your whole day doing this. You could easily get to a million coins. Um, that's pretty much all I have for you guys. I hope it made sense. If you have any questions, comment down below. I'll definitely help you guys out. And I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.